forest floor. All right, it's going to be a lot of movement on the uh, end of Codec. He's going to just try to stay right on top of Eagle as best as he can because Edlis does not really want to deal with all these little hits interrupting anything he can put out. Yeah, not to mention when the edge guards start going, needles are a nightmare for the bear to get around. It's it's kind of gross, but one thing that the bear does have going for him is that he's got some strong moves and he is able to really take advantage of Rano's uh, not amazing recovery. He's got some good stuff going, but Edelis is one of those characters that can absolutely... Oh my god, that Ooh. that role was so crucial. You know, playing on the plats is going to be very important off of both of these players. Just off the fact that Rhino's going to be able to cover so many options from Edelis, just off of his sheer size. And then as you are highlighting, an excellent code oh, oh, to break first blood. Bagel's ability to just be able to rack up that damage and lead that into uh, KO really quickly is something that's going to be on Codex Mind the entire set. That just like reversal, that. that reversal with the fair armor is going to come in spades as we uh, as we go through this whole set because you can tank a lot of pressure from that. You can tank forward air, you can tank back air. Like it's basically your reversal option, and it's a bait on whether or not you're actually going to throw out the big fist or not. So you could you could wind up flinching for no reason. And like the fact that it's covering so much vertical space in front of Adolis as well is really important because it's going to negate a lot of the pressure Koda <gasps> could be putting out. Oh, great ledge cancel there. Yeah, absolutely. And right now, like, this is kind of like Codex loser's run, right? Like, one of the few, like, not expected top eight seeds to make it this far. We all know Codex has been like a perennial top 20 player for a while. One of the best Ronos out there. And definitely looking to make a statement that uh, he is the new up and coming. He is the new he's the new hotness, you know. Oh, definitely, and especially in the realm of Ranos. Like this was a very good tournament to get this top eight placing with having to place over Y and Lucius. Yeah, and just like that we mentioned before, the fair armor coming in clutch beating out the up B. And now it's gonna oh we have a bubble combo coming. Uh yep, yep back big air. damage and great positioning. Go to yeah. bringing us right back to the ledge. So much of this battle has been taking place either off stage or by these plats, and that's very much intentional. Yeah and you can see like the idea is that like they're, they're fighting in the corner because both of them just want to start the edge guard going, you know? They, Kodak is okay with dealing with some, a little bit of corner. Oh, no! no you can't fake huge. Kodak out mm -hmm. like that, no. He's reacting. He's not He's not only he's waiting, and he's reacting, and that's going to be the first game. He's looking primed. I mean, the 7 with Lucius was 3-1, pretty close on both sides, but... Kodak looks like he's just carrying that momentum forward. Bagel's going to have to do something about that. Cause... Yeah, I think it's a combination of, first of all, his reactions looking stellar today. Oh, like, if you've yeah. watched any of his sets leading into this top eight, Kodak just looks like he has the answer before the situation even comes up. And then follow that up with the execution, because you could know the correct answer to a situation. But if your hands don't match your head, it does not matter. Exactly. You've got, you've got one of the nice uh, blended Ronos. You've got the great neutral. You've got the good punish. He's kind of uh, he's kind of making a name for himself in that regard. He's kind of mixed up what uh, what Wyan Dorai do and a good bit of what uh, Lucius does with the more patient neutral. Great up air there, just kind of stops the idea of a spike from the up oh, air yeah. happening. But this is what I mean before with uh, with how Bagel is going to be looking for those edge guards. Going to yeah. be fair armoring through a lot of the up stuff, a lot of the forward air stuff, like. And it's just going to keep on building up the damage safely but surely for Bagel. Like, again, the battle just starts itself practically off stage by design. Because Bagel doesn't want to have to deal with any of these clashes. Like, Kodak's getting in his bits and pieces of damage, don't get me wrong. But it's not amounting to this much, Woo! but that swing was so important. That was a huge swing, and now we got Kodak saved by the bubble. This is huge. He needs to make the most again of Again into the bubble! Oh my god. He the, the, the placement is so intentional, too, because that is the perfect spot to stop the fair from killing every single time. And you know that he's playing around that, too. Oh, yeah. yeah Again! We're four for four on we're this four bubble. For four, but oh, no jump. He has to use the bubble to recover high. Yeah, and that's going to do it. 200% though. That's that's a retirement home kind of oh, stock, for real? you know? Yeah, no, that frog is cooked. Yeah, that's cooked. But like, I mean, if you're going to live to 200, do it on a character like Rano. That's not going to normally live to 200, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. Living on borrowed time, especially in this matchup, is something that you want to try to make happen often. You want Bagel sweating. You want him worrying about how long he's going to make his own stocks last. He's the heavy body here. You exactly. think that Adolis is the one surviving that long. Ooh, yeah, and right there we saw one of Rano's classic kill, kill setups coming into play, the down tilt up smash. 
that's going to be a huge one in this uh, in this matchup because it's going to stop Edelis from really living to these absurdly high percents that heavies are normally known for. Oh, and Needles with a follower there. Phenomenal confirm from Codex 2. And I was just about to build off of what you were saying. When you get the confirms into up strong, you're like, yes, that is going to be able to threaten kill. But on top of that, it puts you into such pristine positioning to lead into all the other tools that Rhino has to be dangerous. And we Kodak is making dividends 100%. off of 100% combo. Oh my god, he wanted the day in so bad. You know he did. Oh, and there it is, the forward air spike into the up strong. Gonna be a two stock for Kodak going into game two. Oh my lord. We saw so many different varieties of Coco Force. We took a trip back to 2018 on Rano's release with Needle Forward Air Spike. That was, that's not normally a thing unless you have enough needles to actually cause enough hit sun to go into the spike. Those are dark days for some players, but a yeah. golden age for if you like the frog. If you like the frog right now, you are, you are cheering for Kodak, representing Rival South beautifully going into game three. We're running it back to Forest Floor as well. And I think it's a, it's a good enough pick just because the, the oh. Biplat layout works out really well for Italis. And the fact that they are closer to the stage, they're closer tight inwards, it means that Fagel's going to be able to force the fight back to the ledge, which is what he wants. Again, keep on seeing it time and time again. But also the fact that it is a, generally speaking, smaller stage is going to give less of an opportunity Ooh. for Kodak to fight back. Yeah, absolutely. And with those uh, those smaller side blast zones over there, we're going to see a lot less uh, leniency towards DIing hard out. We're going to see uh, at these higher percents, the character is going to be forced to DI in. But it doesn't matter if you DI in, if you get killed off the top. Down tilt, Dacus. Classic confirm. Beautiful. Like, truly writing a masterclass here on what to do with the frog. Against an opponent, you typically don't see dying as quickly. Woo! Yeah, but Bagel saying, no, 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 no. Oh, look, okay, I, I was a top AC for a reason. Like, this is not over until I say it's over. Right now, taking the stock lead, first time in the set. Big adaptation coming out from Bagel, so we're seeing a lot more, like, careful edge guarding, a lot more patience from it, but here comes Kodak. Big bubble combo. <gasps> the down air stalling and waiting out that tech. I like that. I like that a lot. It's that presence of mind, and I'm glad you bring up the notion of patience, because I feel like both of these characters are ones where waiting is so pivotal to getting big damage, big positioning, oh! and big kills! Well, Kodak in position to win a 3-0, potentially. A 3-0 set against Bagel, a perennial top 15 player, like a staple of every top eight that he en uh, tournament that he enters. This is a huge one. He's going deep for those edge guards. He wants to just end it right now because the one thing we haven't been able to talk about much this set is Analyst Armor. If he can get back to stage and if he can get armor, if he can get one big neutral interaction and seal and get himself armor, it's it's danger. It's danger days. And that's Not even if he gets kill. the chance. Yeah, we're, we're looking on borrowed time right now for Analyst. All right. Oh, okay, that's it. <gasps> No, oh, one huge. last chance at life. No jump, no air dodge. What happens? Forwarder's gonna do it, and that is it. Kodak with a 3-0 over Lord Bagel. Amazing. Just amazing. Look at that. Just the simple, just dude's fist a, in the air. Yeah, dude's a giant, by the way. You see that? <laughs> yeah, for real. My man, my man standing <laughs> next to Bagel and just like had an entire torso over that man, but a dominant Masterclass 3-0 finish there for Kodak. Entering into loser's quarters, guaranteed fifth. Bagel at its seventh. A great showing from him. Not having exactly an easy run as he had to beat Giga prior to this set that oh, just yeah. happened. So that was already a lot of uh, a lot of mental on him too. Oh yeah, you could say a lot about about your fault too. But this top eight is anything but free to get into. You had to bleed a lot to get here, uh -huh, and just absolutely. staying alive is still going to be very demanding on all of these players. But oh, absolutely. Kodak very much showing that he belongs in this top eight. Yeah, and, and Ronald still has a place in in today's like I mean he always did have a place we can't say that he didn't really have a place yeah. but after some of the more recent changes people were saying that like Rano feels a little weird to kind of play because some of his more up air one shenanigans stuff isn't there anymore a lot of characters can buffer air dodge out and a lot of characters can sometimes just kind of escape the situation for free out of jumps but 